Welcome to Wednesday Night Recap. Another Wednesday night Bible study is behind us. And tonight we're again in the book of Revelation. We're going to go all the way through the book over the next several weeks. And tonight we looked at one church, and that was the church of Sardis. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to just read uh, to you part of the scripture uh, that we looked at tonight. And um, these are Jesus' words through John recorded for the church in Sardis. To the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who holds the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your deeds. You have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up, strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have found your deeds unfinished in the sight of my God. And those are, those are pretty heavy words uh -huh. from Jesus to that church. Um, a reputation of being alive. Uh -huh. So what does that tell us right there? <laughs> that it's just all surface. It's all facade. Uh -huh. It's all a fake. It's uh -huh. all a sham. Uh -huh. And um, it's kind of hard for us to understand that. Uh -huh. I mean, for me, when I first think about it, but someone brought up the idea tonight that there are some churches today that run a really good performance uh -huh. and they are evangelical. They might be charismatic. They might even be Pentecostal. Uh -huh. But um, there's no depth. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. and, and isn't that a lot of the world, though? I mean, it really is. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about social media, yeah. social media, everybody can put that facade on and you, you have no idea what's behind mm -hmm. that, that. But it sure looks good on, on everybody face looks good. Yeah. 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 And, you know, by the way, we're covering that in life group, young adult life. group. Oh, OK. Um, <clears throat> we're doing a Craig Rochelle series, mm -hmm. hashtag struggles. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's about living in a, in a selfie-centered world. Right. <laughs> you know, everybody wants to have their best image projected. Right. And, I mean, with each other, we should present our best side. Mm -hmm. But when it's that fake, yeah. you know, that's, you know. I, I mean, maybe you've done this. I, I can't take a picture of my family or my daughters without them okaying it before it gets yeah. sent out. Because yeah. everybody's got to look just right. So. Yeah. And, and, again, that's harmless. Yeah. But when, it, when you're actually trying to present a false image. Right. And that's what a lot of churches do. Uh -huh. You know, they'll, they'll t obviously want to take the best when you're trying to promote your church on social media. And boy, this took a different turn tonight, yeah. didn't we? Because we didn't even entertain this yeah. tonight in Bible study. Uh -huh. but, but seriously, you know, you, you look at, they show the best part of their facility, uh -huh. the best crowd that they have. And, um, and then if you're actually to go there, it's nothing like that. Right. And, and that, that turns a lot of people off. Uh -huh. If they've been drawn to you through social media, uh -huh. Um, or YouTube or whatever, and it isn't real. Yeah, you know. So or it's, or it's like the, you know, the perspective of the camera. You know, you and I are sitting oh, yeah. here, and they've got the crowd, and then you see another perspective, and there's a couple mm -hmm. of people there. They just made it look like it was it was a massive crowd or whatever. Yeah. Spo but. Spoiler alert: We have a green screen behind <laughs> us. Okay, so the pretty blurred image behind <laughs> us. Uh, that's not our church, but I do like it. Yeah. And uh, if you remember the early days. You had live videos, I think, around a Parisian street. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was one time a pigeon landed near my shoulder. <laughs> that made me nervous. <laughs> um, you know, all thanks to uh, digital yeah, yeah. photography. So I think something interesting is uh, this may be the only church nothing good said about them. I think so. Yeah. I think so. By memory, yeah. you know, going through these. And what we've already covered. Yeah. You had something to commend them on. Yeah. But here it just went straight to... You. Yeah, in each of these churches, yeah. other than, another spoiler alert, next week is Philadelphia. And there's really no correction for them. Uh -huh. um, but the other churches are all corrected. Uh -huh. And there is, you know, a little commendation, but on this church in Sardis, uh -huh. there's none. And what did you say? They were the what of the day? Yeah, they, they were, I mean, just picture them as being the Hollywood of the day uh -huh. or the Las Vegas of the day. Not that they're gambling there. Um, but they were very affluent. <clears throat> the Roman Empire had their gold and silver coins minted there. Mm. That's, that, that blew me away. Yeah. Uh, you think most of that would be done in Rome, but here it is being done in Turkey. Right. So, And even, I mean, spoke on Sunday mm. about Ephesus, but it, it seems to hit them even more, mm -hmm. is that we can't have this, this relationship with God where we're just going through motions. Yeah. And, and here Jesus is able to penetrate what... Again, what we can put on for people, what facade we can put on, it's Jesus that gets right to the heart of the individual, mm -hmm. yeah. the church and the individual, and can point out those things that don't belong. Yeah, he, it's very piercing. Absolutely. You know? yeah. And if you think of the, the, the uh, visual 
that John saw when he saw Jesus in Ephesus, excuse me, in Revelation chapter one, mm -hmm. and then in Ephesus, you know, he's got these blazing eyes, yeah. these burnished bronze feet. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, he's, it, it is, it almost like he's looking right through you. Yeah. And, uh, I, I'm, you know, there's not much more we can add tonight, but mm -hmm. it was a dead church and we discussed uh, what some of the adjectives might be that we would use to a describe dead a dead church, yeah. some of the attributes and mm -hmm. adjectives. Um, and so when we look at these churches in, in the book of Revelation, we want to think of them as a mirror. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in them that might be in us? That's what's critical. Mm -hmm. And so uh, individually and corporately, we need to look at our own church, but we also need to look at our own lives. And, and just like, you, you know, we, I think as we talked about other churches, not naming names or whatever, yeah. it can be really easy to be critical mm -hmm. when really, again, we're supposed to be yeah. How does this reflect us? Yeah. You know, and, being, being critical doesn't solve yeah, the problem. Right, right. So, but being the best us that yes. we can be is what really matters. Absolutely. So, so anyways, next week we'll finish up in Sardis and then uh, go to Philadelphia and we'll see if we can get it all done. Then actually begin looking at the end time mm -hmm. events that are going to take place after these letters to the seven churches. Mm -hmm. So hope you'll join us next Wednesday. We've been having a really great time. And uh, of course, this Sunday is National Youth Day. But Pastor Hans is going to be talking about one of the churches in Revelation. Uh -huh. So anyways, have a great weekend and we'll see you Sunday. God bless.